Uh, team news first. Brian Jack Walker's in the 19. Has he got a realistic chance of featuring? Yeah, yeah, he has. He, uh, it was... Uh, uh, <coughs> it's, a, it's been a decent turnaround for him from the, from the Melbourne game, so uh, we're expecting him to do that for a number of weeks. But, uh, but it's one of those cartilage tears which a bit of rehab has seems to sort it out. It's not to say that it's fixed, but he'll carry that for the next little while until it calms, you know, really calms down. I dare say at some stage in his career that he'll have to have it addressed, but for now he can carry on. Will he play? Yes, yes. Is that tough on, on Ash to take? Uh, he's not going to start. He won't start. I scored him was good last week as winners, the uh, week before. Uh, not so much with the ball, because we, we, as a group we weren't so much with the goal, but I scored him was outstanding defensively. Got the massive, massive players defensively he had for tri service. What about, I mean, it's still a quite a lengthy injury list. Who might you expect to be the next person back available? Yeah, we've got a f there's a couple featuring uh, Mull. Anthony Mullally comes back, who, who snapped his finger. Uh, but that's calmed down enough where he can play. Uh, uh, Moon is back. Uh, yeah, I'm no good at this. Uh, I'm better answering questions. So uh, there's a couple, there's a, a few fellas back here. Yeah. The blokes who were not coming back, that's, let's do it like that, <laughs> is uh, Brett Ferris, Stevie Ward, uh, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Peter Roo, uh, Cuthbertson. Adam Cuthbertson, yeah. He's still out with a broken hand, so there's still there's still some important people missing. Brad Wyle will miss as well with ribs. Brad Wyle's not going to play either with ribs, bruised ribs. And Jordan Lilly's joined Lee on loan. What are you hoping he gets from that? Well, he needs to play, and it's one of those where it leaves us a bit skinny, really, in terms of squad and halves and, and that, but <clears throat> more important than that, he needs to play, because if one of our blocks goes down and he has to play, I can't have him. We can't. We can't be from a situation where he's been stagnant and he, you know, he hasn't played. So, what are you going to get from Hull? Do you think? Uh, pretty much what we had last year. They're uh, they're a, 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 a. I won't call them a massive team. They're not huge in terms of size, but uh, very strong. Very strong ball carriers. Very individual players in that. Whether it be the outside backs or whether it be Kelly, or Jimmy Shaw, they're just. Especially out of dummy half, run really strong out of dummy half. And as much as you try, you uh, you end up losing a lot of field position just based on their strength of carry. And over the last two three seasons, especially under Lee Radford, they've they've really got used to how to deal how to utilise that field position as well. You know they can play structure like everybody else can, but they can play hot, and uh, they don't mind throwing it about a bit. So it can be erratic, and it can backfire on them, similar to us really. It can backfire them, so let's hope we, we get that version. Back at home? Yeah. It's been quite some time, hasn't it? What, what does it mean to you to be back here? Well, it's very good. It's important that you know that we we get back here and we start to rack some games up here. It's, you're right, it's been a long while since we've been here. Uh, first couple of games on the road and all that carry on. So uh, there's, a, there's a different feeling to it, but I'm keen to stress that it's... And I've been saying to our players, don't don't be worried about the different feeling. It's just another feeling. You, you know, the the old headingly is gone. Uh, the old the old atmosphere there is gone. That's not to say that the new atmosphere is going to be worse or you know any less. Uh, and it's we start a new a new era. We, we start you know we, we're a, we're the first team that's going to try and create that new atmosphere, that new feeling to come into Edinburgh, which is a daunting place to come to, and you you're likely to lose when you come to Edinburgh. So. It's up to us to create that, but I also think it's up to the crowd as well. I think it's up to the fans that come, and they look round and they see less seats, you know, for for a while. We're going to have less seats and less capacity, uh, but there is there is a responsibility, I think, for the crowd to uh, to try and scare the life out of the opposition, much as they used to do when it was just nice and comfortable in either the north stand or the south stand. So there is some difference, and it's going to be hard to start with. I think, I think there's going to be some difficulties and some issues to start with, but we'll chew through those. And hopefully within about two or three home games, we'll really develop that uh, that uh, our own backyard type of mentality. I know that you've spoken about uh, Ash and Jack there. I know that I've asked you about both of them before. In terms of Ash keeping his place, 
I know that you said he was outstanding against Widnes. How good does he have to be then now to keep Jack out of the team? Does he have to be a 9 or a 10 every Well, he's week? kept Jack out of the team this week. So he needs to be as good as that every single week? Uh, yes. Yes, I don't feel bad about saying that. Yeah, he's, he's playing fullback for Leeds Rhinos. We, we want to go win another another grand final, we want to go win another Challenge Cup. Uh, it's a very important position to play. Yeah, of course, he's going to be very good. And, and you know, so does Jack as well. Jack's got to be very good, isn't it? Just because I, I picked Jack for the grand final last year, I do get questions. It's almost like the, the sentiment of the question is that you favour Jack. I, I'm not. It's just that Jack got the nod for the grand final. And I've, I've made it really clear that at the start of the season, we go again, you know, we start again. And uh, I'd start with Jack for the first couple. Ashton's played. He keeps his shirt this week, Ashton. Based on his performance, he was outstanding, especially in defence. So we go from there. But each week, the, pl the bloke who's likely to play or is playing nine out of ten will get the shirt. That's why it's a win-win for me, for them two guys. It's uh, it's not the greatest position to be in that they're vying for the shirt every week. And I have to have a tough conversation most weeks, but I'm willing to do that to get nine out of ten.